We are here at the annual meeting of the North American Menopause Society, now called the Menopause Society, and I am speaking with Dr. Mitchell Clark. Dr. Clark, tell us your title. Hi, good morning. Yes, I'm uh, Mitchell Clark. I'm a GYN oncologist at Yale University School of Medicine in New Haven, and I'm uh, very excited to be here today. And you're going to be speaking about what? So I'm very happy that I've been invited to speak about updates in ovarian cancer diagnosis. I wish I was here to announce that we had an effective screening test that all women would have access to to detect these cancers before they develop, but unfortunately we are just not there yet. But there are a lot of exciting things on the horizon and a lot of strategies that we can employ now to try to identify women and families at highest risk and intervene before a cancer actually develops. So as I was saying when we were speaking earlier, the big risk of ovarian cancer, the biggest risk is that it's usually spread quite far before it's diagnosed. So are there any new tests on the horizon that women can look forward to? That's a great point. That has been the greatest challenge, is detecting these in their earliest, smallest phase before metastasis. There are a few things on the horizon. One that we'll talk about today, which is a combination test using a pap smear technique plus some circulating tumor DNA in the blood that will hopefully improve the sensitivity and specificity above what we have available for women right now. So you say a pap smear, but it is a blood test that's the technology that's used is the same as a pap smear. The technology is that the, the brush or the device is similar to a pap smear, but the concept is that we're going to be trying to detect alterations in cells and biofluids that are being shed actually from the fallopian tube down the uterus and into the lower genital tract, as well as detecting circulating tumor DNA in the serum. So there'll be some blood testing and there'll be some testing of swabbing the, the fallopian tubes exactly. at the time of a laparoscopy or some other surgery. Yeah, I think that's where we're headed as we learn more and more about how the fallopian tube is probably the biggest player in this cancer that we've been calling ovarian cancer for all of these years. Right, and that's why they take out the tubes when they take out the ovaries. Exactly, exactly. Well, I want to thank you very much. I'm looking thank forward you. to hearing your talk and it's uh, very important for women's health. So thank you. Thank you very much. Take care.